I'm alive. <laughs> Anybody in there? Right, so it's up and running. Let's just wait and see if anybody tunes in. One's in Charlie Patrick's watching, eh, Charlie? <laughs> oh, Jed, Jed's watching. Jed, give it all. Oh, Derek, third Derek. Come on, man. You've got to get in. Kafazi's watching from Australia. Oh, wow, nine already. Charlie. Oh, hiya, Jed. You all right? Oh, blooming heck, it's climbing quick. Hello, everybody. Hello, darling. Hiya. Yeah. <laughs> Hiya, Charlie. Oh. Fantastic. Blowing egg. 17 already. Hello, Catherine. Oh, blooming egg. Crikey. Wendy. Wendy. Hiya, Wendy, love. Hiya, Helen. Oh. Flipping egg. 28 already. Claire's watching. Oh my gosh. Right, okay, let's get cracking. Uh, now, last week, it nearly all kicked off because I didn't wear my pinny. So that is my first job. I'm putting my pinny on. Let's get my pinny sorted. Safety first, eh? Right, here we go. 37 people, this is going mental. Right, so you want to know what I'm making today, don't you? Right, well, I've pinched this recipe from uh, Gino De Campo. Gino. And this is his dad's favourite treat, right? And it involves shallow frying, if you want to, or deep fat frying, like I'm going to do. How many is that? 43! Debbie Decock's watching. Oh, and her husband. Bradley's watching. Hey, up, Bradley. Robin. Oh. 46, this is going crazy. Auntie Gwen's watching. Flipping it, she's a good cook. I'm, that's, that's put the pressure on that. And Mandy's watching. Oh my gosh, right, let's get started. So what I'm going to make is the Gino De Campo's dad's favourite treat, which is a deep fried mozzarella and pesto sandwich. Kind of like a sandwich, right? Very quick, very easy to do. If you do do it, you're going to love it because it is nice. And what we need, first of all, Warburton's bread. I should have gotten to sponsor it, shouldn't I? Right, I'm going to make two. Right, to begin with, and I'll do the others when I'm off camera for everybody. 50 people, Ellis is watching, Beverly's watching, oh my God. Right, so what we need to do is, we need the thick Warburton's bread, all right? And we're going to cut the crusts off. That's the first thing we do, is cut the crusts off. Because we don't need them. Keep them for the birds. Right, that's one done. Should have done this before really, shouldn't I? So we're cutting the crusts off. And that's that done. And then, what we're going to do then is... We're going to use our hands and we're going to flatten the bread and it makes it kind of elastic -y. All right, just like that. Can you see that? Can you see what I'm doing? Hang on. So I'm just, I'm flattening the bread to make it a bit elastic -y. Okay? Then what you do is you get mozzarella cheese. Now do this beforehand, slice it. Quite thick, so I would say half inch thick, and then uh, put it on some kitchen roll because you want it to dry out. You don't want any of the moisture. Catherine Gilby's here. Oh my gosh. Nina Boone. Nina's watching. Neil's watching. Oh my God. How many are we up to? 60? That's a new record. <laughs> right. Okay. So then we get the mozzarella. 60 people. That's a proper, that's a proper audience. Okay. And we put it on one side of the bread. Then you just get some fresh pesto or a cheeky jar like I'm using. Spoon, and you put a spoonful of pesto on that cheese. Might be a bit big that cheese, I might have to make it a little bit smaller. We'll see, all right? And then what you do is you fold it over. Fold the cheese over, so fold the cheese over. Fold the bread over. 
and you want to seal it, right, well, you just leave that to one side, okay? So I'll get my other one done while I'm here. Squashing it down, okay? Little bit of cheese. And then, in fact, I'm gonna make that a bit smaller. <laughs> what a fix! Bit of basil, pesto, sorry. And then, again, fold it over. Put it to one side. Now, what we wanna do is now, we're gonna breadcrumb it. And you can use uh, one or two, well, you can make your own breadcrumbs if you want, but I've been using panko breadcrumbs. You can get them from, you get them from the Chinese section at Tesco. 67 people, that's crazy. Oh my gosh. Blimey. Okay, so you get these from Tesco, the Chinese section. Or, you know what, Nicola likes these, and they're a bit crunchier, but Ari preferred these, just cheap old breadcrumbs. But you can make your own if you want to. Right? So what we need to do now is, we need to get some flour, plain flour, and then we need to make an egg mix. So we get three eggs, crack them in. One. I've got to stop painting in the head, haven't I? Seems like rather a lot of eggs. Because I'm, I'm going to do a bigger batch, you see, after. After uh, I've done. Need some milk now. Where are we? So we want some full fat milk. Okay, and we're going to put in three eggs. So we're going to put in uh, two tablespoonfuls of full fat milk. Not a lot. All right, stick that back in the fridge. And then we need to, uh, we'll season it a bit. So we need a bit of, a bit of the old Susie salt. Woo! And a bit of Percy pepper. Okay, and then we're gonna mix that up. You don't want to mix it too much, you don't want it frothy. Okay, that'll do. Nice, 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 nice. Then we'll get the breadcrumbs out. So we're gonna do this one first. Might try the other one as well, show you the difference. So, best is what these look like. Let me get rid of them. So that's what they look like. Let me see, I don't know what they're made of, you know. Are they bread? I don't know, panko breadcrumbs anyway. All right, so that's that done, so I've done all that. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna seal the bread little pockets. Okay, do you remember we folded them over and you wanna seal them? So what you've gotta to do to seal them is you just dunk them, just the edges, in the, in the mix, in the egg mix. And then you just seal them with your fingers. All right? Takes a bit, go over them again, take your time and seal them like that. So that's sealed then. Eh? Do you see? All sealed. Okay, now I've done this before and they did open a little bit and it didn't matter. Right, and then we'll do the same with this one. Dick, dick, dick. And then push them together. You watch this all go wrong now. Where are we up to? 65. Martin's watching, Neil's watching. Oh, see, I can't look at all these comments. I have to look afterwards. So we'll see, right. So you know what I'm doing, don't you? You can see what I'm doing. Just sealing them up. So you've got now, basically, a mozzarella and pesto pocket. Okay, so they're all sealed, right? So that's that. Get your deep fat fryer or shallow fry in about an inch of oil. And what you want to do is heat the oil up to about 180 degrees. <coughs> okay. So what we do is, we've got the flour, we dip it, with your left hand, dip it in the flour. 
Yeah? And then with your left hand again, dip it into the, oh, you see it's come undone. Dip it into the egg. And then with your right hand, into the breadcrumbs. Okay. <laughs> and it looks, kind of looks like that. And then we just drop it into the deep fat fryer, 10 minutes. <gasps> oh, deep fat fryer. And you want to do about two minutes on each side. Now, just quickly, I'm conscious of the time, I'll do the other one, and I'll do the other one in, in the bread, the cheap old breadcrumbs that my son likes. Okay, they look, ooh, they look like that. So again, left hand, into the flour, into the egg yolk, and then into these breadcrumbs. Oh, Gwen, are you watching this? I bet you're laughing at this, aren't you? Okay. And then again, into the deep fat fryer. For about two minutes on each side. Now while that's doing, I'm gonna make us a drink. Now a lot of people guessed this, what I was gonna to make today. Hey Google, count down two minutes. All right, two minutes. So a lot of people guessed this when I put it online, what I was gonna make. And of course, you were right, it's brown milk. And what that is, Back in the day, when we first started, when I first started flying, I've not done this for about 10, 12 years now, because we're not allowed to, because they put a kibosh on it. But what we used to do was, we used to practically get all the dregs out of the bar, whatever was left that people didn't want to drink, put it in a bottle, I've even saved a water bottle, and make what we called was chocolate milk. And the ingredients really, as I say, was whatever you could get. So today, I'm gonna put in a bit of brandy, and I'll tell you something, we used to roll off the bus. It was unbelievable, unbelievable. We were absolutely hammered by the time we got to where we were going to, but you know, we had to do it. We're gonna do a bit of cheeky Cointreau. These are full, like double, double shots, these. Right? <laughs> I think this is right. Should we put in a bit of whiskey? I think we should. Now, I don't recommend you all go rush out and make this, because you it can't be good for you, right? And then, a cheeky Baileys. Let's put in a cheeky Baileys. And then, what we used to do, I presume we did anyway, with it being called brown milk. Did we put milk in it? Can anyone confirm? Did we put milk in it? Did we, Alison, did we put milk in? I'm gonna put milk in, I don't care. I don't care. Can we put in a bit of milk? Oh. We give it a shot. Got 10 seconds left. Give it a good shake. We'll come back to that in a minute. So now what we do is, hey people, stop. We flip these over. Can you see these? Oh my God, these are gorgeous. Flick them over. Got another two minutes. Hey Google. Hey Google. Count down two minutes. Okay, two minutes. Five, now, nine. back to the drink. We get a glass. 78 people. Get some ice in the glass. call it this week, eh? We call it Up Yours Brown Milk. Cheers, everybody. Oh, hey, blow me that. <laughs> Cheers, blow me that. God, damn it. Wow, that's magic. Up Yours. 
Right, how are we doing? A minute left. These are nearly done. These are nearly done. That's what you're all saying. Cheers, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Zena, up yours. <laughs> up yours. Up yours, what? That's warm me. That is, I'm not sure if it's warming or it's burning me. <laughs> Gordon Bennett. Oh, so we used to drink that. Fall off the bus. We used to fall off the bus. It was great. Anyway, how are we doing? 25 seconds. I reckon this is done. So two minutes inside. I'm quite happy with that. Let the fat drain. When I try this, if you listen carefully, you should hear my left ventricle slamming shut. Because these are... These are a treat, you do not make these regularly. <laughs> right, look at them. They look blinking great. So we, stop. So we get, cheeky plate. Can you see these? Oh my gosh. How easy were they to make as a treat? You know, when you sat around the telly at night. Well, this one's leaked a bit, Never mind. So you can see there, that was the panko crumbs, and that one's the cheapo crumbs that we got from co-op. Harry likes them, Nicola likes them. I think I prefer the panko because it, it gives more of a crunch. Right, let them cool down just a minute. Oh, where's my drink? Cheers, everybody. 85, that's crazy. James McF McFarlane's on, oh my gosh. Right, so let's have a look now. We'll open this one. Can you see? So then, oh, it's just the cheese is all, oh, 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 perfect. So you've got pesto in there, good quality mozzarella. How easy was that, guys? How easy was that? Let's have a taste. Let's have a taste. And as I say, you don't need a deep fat fryer. It's just, I just thought it was easier. You can uh, shallow fry it. Here we go. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, good Hey, anyway, what? I'm not giving you. Oh my God. They are gorgeous, man. Oh, 20 minutes, I like that, 20 minutes, great timing, cheers everybody, that is, you've got to try this one today guys, just a nice little treat, save your treat, get easy to do, fab, guys what can I say, let me turn this deep fat fryer off, what can I say, thank you for tuning in, 86 people, that's a studio audience that, Listen, cheers again. All the best for all my furloughed friends. Hang in there, keep the faith. The union's doing a great job, as well as best they can anyway. We've just got our fingers crossed and hope for the best. Oh, but if, if you know, have one of them, because that'll make you feel a lot better. Guys, take care. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for all your comments. I really appreciate it. Uh, yeah. I'll see you next week, hopefully. I'll try and think of something else. Take care, guys. Thanks very much. 88! <laughs>